Today, we become legends. So Reno's kind of like a super inconsistent, but like really funny high roll hero. The other options I got were kind of trash though, so I just thought I'd take Reno. Good start. With Reno, you just want to like take the good minions early, like the good stats, and just try and not lose the early fights and not worry too much about your actual comp. Because you obviously don't have a hero power in the early game, really. So you just want to not lose fights and then try and like triple on four or five, get a five or six drop. And then hero power it, like a Bran or a Rivendare, maybe a Hogger. And then you kind of like build your comp around whatever you get golden. So getting the two, three early game is really good because it means you probably don't lose the uh, first two fights. What did Finley go for? Should I walk? Okay. Yeah, so like you, you almost never lose the um, early game fights with the two three unless like someone has a hero power like Yogg. It's obviously a really low power level lobby here. There's no Rafam, no Eudora, no Maev. So like should be okay here. He leveled and he has token Murloc, so we tie here. Uh, just the captain in the spawn. Could have been better, but not that bad. Having the spawn on like five gold isn't the best because you only have like one minion that is buffing, but it's a really good unit to scale like as you go later. Like when you have a full ball, this is the best two drop in the game, but when you only have one minion, it's one of the worst. Did he stay on one? Oh, he's still on one. Pretty okay, taking only two damage for this loss. The fact that he stayed on one and he's actually been losing is like really bad for him. So I just take the pair and then... I think I prefer the Kaboom bot to the Grandmother. This is kind of like a 6-2, basically, which is pretty good. Actually, thinking about it, that was probably a misplay. Maybe I should have taken the Scallywag. Because with these two, it's like a 4-3 that summons a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, so I probably should have taken the Scallywag thinking about it. It's potentially weaker if like they immediately snipe my captains, but... I think it's probably overall better than the Kaboom bot by a little bit. Jesus, this guy's strong. I know his Yogs are on, so like he's super good early game, but... Jeez. Uh, now I play undefeated top guy. Although to be fair, he did only just like beat the really weak guy. Hit a triple here as well. I think what I'm going to do is level by this. And then freeze the triple and next turn I can level sell level sell by and then hit a 5 drop and see if I can get like a Bran or a Rivendare or something to gold in it. Because I'm, I'm pretty happy with Rivendare here, because, like, Golden Rivendare with even a normal spawn is plus 3, plus 3 to your whole board, which is really good. And then, like, the bomb does 12 random damage. I'm expecting to lose this fight pretty hard, but then I can hopefully hit this triple into a good 5 drop and stabilize. Oh, he's actually not that strong. If I can kill the cannon pretty early, maybe I can actually win this fight. If I snipe the cannon here. Okay, really good. Yeah, I should win this fight now. Nice. I wasn't really expecting to win that because I leveled and bought a kind of weak unit, but very good to not lose that. Oh, I miscalculated. I have to sell two to buy this. Can I afford to play greedy and like wait one turn? Honestly, I feel like double selling to buy this actually makes me potentially weaker if I go for like a Baron or um, a Bran because I'd be selling one of my death rattles so like the Baron's not that good. Yeah, I think I freeze this actually. I think I'm actually stronger for this fight 
by freezing and buying next turn and it also means that once i get the five drop next turn i can immediately hero power it it also gives me like a little bit of gold to roll and buy some units that synergize with my five drop so like if i get bran i can roll for some battle cries if i get rivendell i can roll for some more death rolls so yeah this is this is probably the better line of play even though i probably lose this fight yeah i definitely lose this fight that's fine though I, that was expected maybe i can just not kill the menaces no, dude, that was bad. Okay, I'm going to take a lot here. 14 really sucks. I need to hit a good 5 drop here, otherwise I'm kind of in a bad spot. Oh, I do play Tess, though, who's really weak, which is nice. So we take this. Yeah, see, we got the Baron here. I also do kind of like the Hogger, but I think the Baron gives me a pretty good direction here and stabilizes me better. So we take this and we hero power it. The two one's not bad, but I don't really want to go dragons with a golden baron. And also I can probably get better in one roll. Probably the rover. The rover when it's got like plus three plus three from the spawn is actually kind of good, so. Yeah, this guy's pretty weak. My board looks kind of weak, but then once the spawn dies, it's actually really strong. And then the, uh, the this guy just like absolutely cannons his entire comp. Yeah, pretty easy win. The McCall is pretty good, actually. Either If it hits either one of these, I'm pretty happy. I'd rather hit the spawn, but still. Module on the bomb is pretty good, just so I have a taunt. And I could buy the Hydra. It allows me to go into Menagerie and when it's buffed by the spawn, it's really good. Also allows me to go into Beasts with the with the Baron. I think I will take this, which means I should sell this first. Okay, you got first attack, but luckily I have that taunt, so it's not a big deal. Okay, I hit the bomb. Yeah, like, even hitting the bomb is still decent, honestly. I'm gonna do a lot to this guy. Like, when you get the Rivendare spawn combo, the Rivendare often lives and it's just, like, ruins people. Oh, I got some extra damage on him as well. He is not happy. The gold grubber's kind of okay. Scaling 4-4 four, four a turn. But I'm also probably getting rid of this captain fairly soon. And I don't have any other goldens or like any other pairs. Yeah, I don't think I want it. Maybe I level. Mm. The pilot shred is okay, but it's not the best. Bran. I think I take... I think I freeze the Boom Bot, actually. If I can get triple Boom Bot, triple Baron with the Macaw, it's actually, like, ruins people's comps. Wow, 2026. How did that get so big? Oh, he's got the Pyro Buffers. Okay, I hit the spawn, which is good. Ah, uh, that thing dies now. Can I kill the... Oh, that sucks. I was hoping to kill the Captains with those bombs. I can get a big cleave though if he doesn't kill it here. Yeah, this is a win. That cleave comes in huge. That was undefeated top guy as well. Who's been like slapping people for like 10 plus. I'm really strong right now. Uh, the taunt, I don't think I need. Egg is actually pretty good. Because it gets spawn buffed and they can die and summon a bunch of A8s. 
I don't think I want second module though. I think I'm fine with just one taunt so I can play around Cleave and keep my Rivendor alive. So we skip that and just play the egg. Shit, I'm just way stronger than everyone in this lobby, dude. My ball just, like, doesn't look that strong until, like, all the death rattles go off and then, like, I've just ruined them. Hit this. Oh, if I hit that, I get some extra damage on him. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been extra damage because it's just three from the Robosaurs and the egg itself does four. There's the triple boom bot. Give me Kangars, maybe? Oh, here we go. So with Kangars, I probably want to sell the Rover. Just to make sure it doesn't like grief my Kangar's pool. Because I want the Kangar's pool to just be like egg and boom bot. This guy's dragon, so I can put this back here. The selflesses are actually pretty nice with the Baron. But they also do kind of grief my Makar a little bit. I don't think I want them. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Maybe I'll do this to make sure the egg dies. I'll freeze second Makar. I want to get it golden. So if you have Golden Macaw, Golden Baron, Golden Boombot, that is what, like... 24... That's 48 random damage, I think, is how that works. Yeah, that's 48 random damage, if you have that. It's insane. Okay, this guy's really strong, though. Massive Razor Gars. I might actually lose this fight. It depends how my, um... Death Rattles go. I need the egg to die and then the Kangals to res before the Baron dies. But it attacks next, right? Oh no, I hit the 2 1. I've been griefed. Actually, this is probably still good enough as long as the Boom Bots die before the Baron. Yeah, easily good enough, actually. I forget how insane Golden Baron with Golden Boom Bot is. It's ridiculous. My board looks so weak when you initially see it and then it just ruins you. So we take this. Like the jug is okay, but I can do better than that, I think. So I'm pretty much looking for more eggs. Triple on the Macaw into more Kangars. That's pretty much it. I think at some point I'm selling the spawn. Because I actually, I actually want to hit the Boom Bot now instead of the spawn. Or even like the Egg. The Kangars kind of grease me though. But I think it's too good to have in the comp to like res the Boom Bots and stuff instead of ditching it just because it greased the Macaws a little bit. He's playing five minions? Jeez. Oh wow, I should have played around Cleave, um, but the Rivendell just lives because of the spawn buffs. Putting the spawn in front actually just saved my ass so hard in this fight. Okay, it did still die to the second Cleave, but... Yeah, I, I still win this fight. I think putting the spawn in front may well have saved me the fight though. This type of comp's actually like my favourite in the game. Maybe not my favourite. I do kind of like like Brand Menagerie is pretty good. But this is definitely one of like my top three comps. Just like absolutely exploding people with the Kaboom Bot. 
I do kind of want to get rid of the spawn at some point. I don't think taking more bombs is worth it. I'd rather just hit on the big bomb. Triple Makar is huge. Can I get a Kangos? No, a Malgadon is good as long as it doesn't get plants, because plants grief the hell out of me. How many adapts does it get right now? Three? It's pretty unlikely to get plants in three adapts. But maybe I should just take the my Exna to be safe. It's also better against Murlocs. Yeah, I'll take the my Exna. Um, and then roll, I guess. Another Macaw. Yeah, so next turn the spawn's gone for the other Macaw, and then I pretty much have good death rattles aside from the Kangors, which is kind of necessary. He's only three Murlocs. Maybe he has a cleave or something. I don't think so, though. I'm just kind of scared of him having, like, a... A random cleave that he's been scaling with his hero power, so I'll, I'll do this. Yep, called it. I was like, he's Murlocs, but there's a good chance he has a, a big cave hydra that he's been hero powering. Okay, I hit the, the boom bot once. Look at all these bombs, it's glorious. Yeah, so my Rivendell would have been dead here if I didn't play around that cleave. A million eight eights. Yeah, this is an easy fight. Don't even need my Kangals to win this fight. Oh, he has a big cleave here, though. It doesn't save him, but yeah. I haven't played Toki in a while, actually. So we're taking this. I might just level at this point because I'm kind of looking for like more Kangars maybe. Or more eggs. Uh, five dragons probably doesn't have a cleave. I could sell the Myxna for another egg. But against dragons I kind of like having the Myxna. Because I'm pretty sure he had two massive Razorgars unless that was someone else. Yep, this is big Razorgar man, so hopefully the Maxna can do some work here. Missed on the hit there. Okay, I hit it once. Just easily got rid of all of his Divine Shields. Those guys are going crazy. Okay, the Maxna's got a pretty low chance of killing that thing, but yeah, I'm lucky. Well, not unlucky, but yeah, it just sucks. Oh, that's big though, hitting the Kangars there. Hopefully these bombs can die now. How many bombs is this per thing? It's six bombs, right? 24 damage. Yeah, as long as these eggs die before the Rivendell, I think I've got a chance at this. Oh, no way, the Rivendell attacks in. Yeah, I lose. Maybe I need... Selfless Hero. To try and hit Selfless on the Myxna to beat that guy. Uh, I played this guy now, right? Yeah. But I should be able to beat this guy, no problem. This guy has the cleave, so I want to maybe do this. Or maybe this, actually. Uh, buy a second egg. So yeah, I'm kind of looking for Selfless here so I can actually beat that dragon guy. So I need Selfless on the Myxna to um, kill his stuff. Another Kangals is also kind of nice, but I don't even know if it's necessary when I have Triple Baron. Because like Triple Baron Kangals fills your board anyway, I don't think I need a second one. McCall number 5 is pretty ambitious. I don't think that's happening. It's potential poisonous, but no. Another McCall. Yeah, I think I need to hit Selfless to be able to beat Dragon Guy, but I should beat this guy just fine. He's got a big cleave, bro. 50-50 on hitting 
Okay, hit one of each. That's the expected outcome. Hopefully my Exna hits into the big cleave. Yeah, nice. Good. That's GG, especially with that hit, yeah. And this entire vault's gone. <laughs> Aside from the rats, obviously. Such a fun comp, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to beat the like 100-100 Razor Guard that this guy has. Unless I roll into Selfless and Divine Shield on my Exner. The Unstable Ghoul's pretty good, but honestly I counter his Nadina with just the Boom Bot, so I don't think I need Ghoul. No. 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 No selfless. Yeah, I think I just lose to this guy then. Unless I get really lucky and then my Exner happens to attack into the um, Razorglar. My comp looks so weak in terms of stats, but then it's actually really strong. It's just, I don't think I can beat the 100-100. I needed a selfless. Yeah, 118, 122 now. He's got double Nadina, but I'm not sure that Nadina is a really a big problem for me. Because this just kind of pings him all off. Oh, they can do that. They can like trigger the Kangals, then trigger the Boom Bot. That's pretty cool, actually. No, the Max now attacked into Divine Shield. It's GG. These Draconid Enforcers are going crazy, dude. Oh, he sniped my Rivendell like 1 in 7. I don't think I would have won anyway, but... Eh, whatever. I'm happy with second place. Such a cool comp, honestly. Like, it's not going to win late game against most builds. Like, Murlocs and Dragons easily beat this late game, but it's such a fun comp. Still a very fun game. I love doing that comp. It's really good on Reno as well, because like you can just like hit into that Golden Baron and just like do whatever you want. But yeah, if you want more Battlegrounds content, I'm going to be uploading one every Thursday. I might play some regular Hearthstone as well, depends what I feel like, because there's a new expansion and stuff. But should be mostly Battlegrounds um, on my variety day, which is Thursday on the channel. And then obviously, if you're here for Smite videos, first of all, thanks for watching this one, because I know you're probably here for Smite. And if you watch this, then thanks for that. But um, yeah, if you're looking for more Smite, then that'll be tomorrow and then Sunday and Tuesday as normal.